Okay, well, apologies for the slightly gloomy music, but I think it sort of suits the subject matter. Today we're going inside Reading Jail, which was a fully functioning jail here in uh, Reading in the United Kingdom. Um, it's got quite a long history, but by the time we went there, the jail had kind of ceased operations and it had actually been turned into this sort of interactive art exhibit. So as you can see, we're walking around the different cells, there's graffiti on the walls from the prisoners, but also there are kind of photography exhibits, poems, uh, journal entries. I love this thing here that says, uh, what is it, I stood in a field in a scarecrow's hat or something, very strange. The reason Oscar Wilde is here is that he was famously imprisoned in Reading Jail. He was actually found guilty of homosexual acts and sentenced to two years of hard labour. While he was there, he wrote a poem called The Ballad of Reading Jail, which I'll read to you in a minute. And actually, as we walked around, we got to see the door of his cell, which uh, comes up in the video in a little bit. Apologies for the quality of the video. This was filmed on my old potato before I got my decent camera, but I think it gives you a pretty good idea of what it was like to wander around. Now, unfortunately, this was only open for a short time, so you can no longer go along to see this, which is another reason why we're using my potato camera footage. What's particularly sad about Oscar Wilde's case is not only that obviously he was given two years of hard labour for committing homosexual acts, but also he only actually lived for three years after getting out of uh, prison and it kind of really led to his decline. Here we can see the books that he had with him while he was in jail. There's a little bit more to see but I'm going to let the video speak for itself and I'm going to read The Ballad of Reading Jail. Here's the door to Oscar Wilde's cell and here's the poem that he wrote about his time here. He did not wear his scarlet coat for blood and wine are red and blood and wine were on his hands when they found him with the dead. The poor dead woman whom he loved and murdered in her bed. He walked amongst the trial men in a suit of shabby grey. A cricket cap was on his head and his step seemed light and gay. But I never saw a man who looked so wistfully at the day. I never saw a man who looked with such a wistful eye upon that little tent of blue which prisoners call the sky and every drifting cloud that went with sails of silver by.